guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a clean my fridge video. I need to clean my fridge like you wouldn't believe. We have a side-by-side -side fridge and I thought I wanted one really badly. I didn't have kids when I bought it. I bought it when we moved into this house and it just has not transitioned well with us. It is not a family-friendly fridge at all. I feel like I clean it, I organize it. I've even had family members clean and organize it and nothing ever works. Like no system ever works. I just need to constantly clean it out and try again. So here I am again, it's like attempt number five to try and organize it a different way that it works for our family. It's pretty good now. Like my sister was the last person to do it and she did a pretty good job. Like I have to say, we stuck with it pretty well. So I'm gonna go off of that and just kind of change a few little things that, you know, I might wanna organize a little bit differently and make it a little more functional for us. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good clean, take everything out, clean the shelves, all of that, put everything back in, reorganize. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, let's get into it. So this is our fridge. You guys have probably seen it in a lot of my videos. And this is what we're working with here. <laughs> As you can see, it's quite full. We have some beers in the fridge from the party we just had on the weekend and just a couple things that I typically wouldn't have in here. So I'm gonna get rid of some of that stuff, reorganize. The drawers are actually working out pretty well. So I might not reorganize these, but I'm definitely gonna pull everything out and clean it. But yeah, let's get working on this fridge. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and empty everything out of the fridge so I can give it a good wipe down before putting everything back in. I like to use just vinegar and water to clean it out and I'm gonna use paper towel because my rags are where the girls are napping So I'm not gonna risk waking them up <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and reorganize them. I wipe these down every single time I go and do groceries. So they're nice and clean. They just need a little bit of reorganization. There actually looks like a lot of space. For some reason, I have such a hard time organizing things in this. I think it's just because it's deep, but narrow on the sides. Like it's just a very challenging space to make your groceries fit. So as far as this side, I might try and get rid of a couple things, but for the most part, I think I'm just gonna take it all out and wipe it down. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the stuff back in here before I tackle that. top look like it's basically like baby stuff and eggs eggs are hidden in behind there um, but I have like other flora my two drinks that I drink because they're kind of small and there's nowhere to put them but then all the rest of the stuff is baby drinks milk and juice and all of that 
Then down here, we just have all of our juices, water bottles, beer. Uh, if I have more beer, I can have another line for that, but since there was only two and only four water bottles, just did it this way. Then down here, this is just like condiments and stuff, uh, garlic, a bunch of different cooking things. I just really like that container, and I know that everything that's in there is in there, so it's perfect. I have my coffee creamers, and then um, like half and half up here. Then in the back, I just have stuff for making sandwiches, sandwich meat, cheese, stuff like that. Down here, I just put the milk thing because as you can see, we have like so many milk bags. I opened a new bag of each of them today and I'm almost done this one. That's why there's an extra bag. Normally there's not quite that many. But I put the little milk storage thing back there. Yes, our milk comes in bags here in Canada, at least in Ontario. That's kind of the only way I've ever bought milk. So yes, I know it's kind of different. You guys have jugs or not you guys, but a lot of people have jugs and we have milk bags. So yeah, then over here in this little thing behind here is just the different types of cheeses like um, Parmesan cheese, cheese strings. There's some shredded cheese in there as well. This is just a little thing of um, canned fruit that Grace is finishing up, so I'm just gonna leave it in there for now. Sour cream and stuff that expires quickly. Behind that is a thing of mayonnaise. And then right here is just leftovers, vegetables, fruits, super standard. Along the top here, it's just where I keep butter. If I had a thing of regular butter, it'd be in there as well, but that's just like the flavored garlic and lemon butters. Here is just condiments, stuff you'd basically put on a hot dog or whatever. <laughs> Down here is just maple syrup, just cooking sauces and stuff I reach for regularly, and then some pickled onions I made. Then down here is just a bunch of different sauces. Pizza sauce, sauce for like when we make chicken wings, taco sauce, hot sauce, <laughs> just different sauces like that. And at the bottom here, I just kept my one bottle of wine. This is where we store alcohol. We used to store our Grace's juice, but it's kind of silly. So I just threw the two jams down there, a thing of salsa, and then there's a spot for one wine bottle if we want one to be chilled since the rest of the fridge isn't really tall enough on any of the shelves to store a wine bottle. The freezer, shockingly, isn't all that bad this time around. <laughs> Sometimes it's really bad, but right now it's pretty organized. But as you can see, I've just kind of had to jam things in here. We actually have a big freezer in the basement and that's where we store a lot of our stuff, but I like to have quick on hand things up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and organize this a little bit, just kinda try and fix it up somewhat because it's a little crazy right now. But yeah, let's get to tackling this as well. I did some light cleaning of this. I left that pizza up there, it's just a gluten-free pizza. Good place for it actually, because it's totally out of the way. Uh, I'll do the door first. I put butter, these are just my frozen butters, like um, actual butter. I like to freeze it, so when I get it on sale, I can leave it in the freezer until I need it. I have a little thing of Halo Top ice cream, and then a little garlic butter stick that's also frozen. Uh, down here, I have just two of the acai pouches, and then some little yogurt tubes that I froze for Grace. And here's just a thing of Smarties ice cream. I think this is almost done, but this is where our ice cream will go from now on. Down here, this is just some baby food that's frozen, as well as a thing of decaf espresso from Starbucks. In the main area here, I just have frozen vegetables. We have tons of frozen vegetables. I like to have a lot of them on hand. They're quick to prepare for um, Holly if I'm gonna throw them in a puree, or if I just wanna cook or something quick. And then the, some of them I just use in recipes. So I like to have a lot of them on hand, just so it's easy and we always have vegetables, even if we don't have anything fresh. Then down here, this is what I call the gluten section. <laughs> this is where everything that has gluten in it goes, as far as breads and stuff. Um, toaster strudels, Grace likes those. She likes little mini pizzas. Um, we just have different breads and stuff. I, I don't really access this section very often, but it's all here in case they want something that's not out that um, you know we get froze. Then down here, this is where I put the gluten-free stuff. So this is everything for me. I'm the only person who eats gluten-free in our house. Um, I like pizza flats. I have normally I have bagels, but these are just little um, bread things like buns. Um, then I have just some pomegranate seeds because I throw that in a lot of my stuff. I have gluten-free waffles, and then also in there there should be some sort of gluten-free bread. And down here at the bottom is just meat. So 
I put like sausages, um, hot dogs, hamburgers, chicken fingers, any little like loose thing that I want to keep upstairs. I just keep in this bottom drawer so it's all together. All right, so that is everything. That's everything super organized for now. It probably won't last. I really hope it does, but um, you know, it's tough, especially with kids. It's hard with this type of fridge with a big family, especially when you have like two different kids at different age groups with different types of milk, and you know, you have creamers, and you have gluten-free people, and glutinous people. <laughs> it's kind of hard to, um, you know, keep everything together, and you know, organized in a small fridge like this, but hopefully this will give you some inspiration for your fridge. I really hope that this organization system works for us this time around. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.